Hi hey. Peter, it's hey. a pleasure having you here at the IDF Yeah, conference. it's really a pleasure being here again. So I hope you're having a good show. Really? Yeah, we had. Yeah. So good Peter conference. is with the uh, Agfa yes, and uh, they've launched a silver nanoparticle link. So what is unique about your link? The connectivity, yeah. So okay. it's really, uh, we're using much more uh, efficiently the silver that's in there, okay. uh, which you can easily prove by uh, the method that we developed because in a lot of cases people try to measure mm connectivity by assessing dry film thickness. We do it by measuring the silver and then you really compare apples with apples. Okay. And uh, you know, there's always this concern that you're trying to replace. Something that is already there, something that is embedded, you know, the micron-sized powders and the flakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's your strategy? Well, it's certainly true that we try to replace because in the end, as I said, it's, uh, you can do more with less. So in the end, it's like having a better fuel for a car or having a car that uses less fuel. So in the end, especially when silver prices will be go up again, we'll see that uh, nano-silver inks will take a bigger part of the market because they are much less sensitive to the silver price. Silver nanoparticles have been around for some time. Yep. And success has been limited. What do you think has changed? Uh, a lot of things are changing. Of course, you have some new applications really in the space that we're working here, like uh, printed electronics, where people really want to make maximum efficiently use of the, of the available materials. Uh, you also see systems coming on paper, uh, like the, the power code uh, paper. Um, so there you really want to use as little material as possible. Um, and that's, uh, and that's certainly an area where people really are looking to use, to make more efficient use of the silver. Another big advantage where you see is that you want everything, people try to make it smaller and smaller, thinner and thinner, uh, lines which are closer and closer to mm. each other. So, uh, and that's only possible with the nano ink. By the way, I, we could easily show you that some of the fine line screens uh, simply do not work with flake inks. And you can have the same performance using a nano ink. So you think there are there are niches in the market where you have to use a silver nano? Exactly. Yeah. And what about uh, what about the price? Has anything changed in the past oh, yeah. five years or so yeah. about the price structure? Well, of to be products? honest, I'm really surprised about some of the prices that we hear here from uh, from let's say colleague companies mm. that also offer nanoparticles. I think we are today even at the lower scale that we work on, we are competitive with them, with the pricing, even with flakings. And do you so, think the next couple of years are very important for the industry? Yes, for sure. Yeah. In what way? Um, actually, we will have to see more end users, really, and let's say device makers and system makers making the things. And then, the, I think technology-wise, a number of solutions are ready. But they need to be pulled through the whole chain in order to, to make it happen. But it's going to happen. If you see what's happening at whole center with uh, medical patches and stuff like that, the wearable stuff, mm. that's, uh, it's really... And do you think wearables is a new opportunity for, for the for the for sure. things, particularly yeah, the yeah. nano ones? Right? Yeah, exactly. Always for the same reason. Eh? You want actually you want something to wear, but you don't want to know that you wear it. So yes. you want to add functionality without yes. without taking into account that you need to add some things. Uh, I don't know whether you saw this presentation of the guy that showed his Sunty watch. No, uh, I didn't. And then uh, he said, "Yeah, it's a nice watch, uh, GPS, and everything, but it's too heavy." And uh, I'd like to have a watch which is where I just he wrote. He wrote on his arm the right. time of the day and said, okay, this is not a watch, but that's how I want it. And that's a it's nice vision, I thought. Today, yeah. I don't know who it was. Uh, but, uh. Interesting. And, you know, compared to the incumbents, is flexibility a major differentiator for the nanoparticles? Um, it's certainly one of the differentiators. I think the big differentiator is the connectivity and fine line printing, low temperature curing, uh, yes. compatible with, with a number of substrates. That's, uh, that's where yes. the ink is going You're really show. poised for the emerging applications. Uh, yes, but if we can uh, push some of the current uh, drop-in, I mean, I think we have a potential, especially for screen print, there is a potential for drop-in. Yes. That's, uh, that's one, of, uh, one of our credos too. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Peter. It's You're always welcome. a pleasure having you. Thank you. Okay.